I'm working on a 2001 Ford Ranger. Someone messed up the vacuum lines. Controls. Customer said that when you're going up a hill, the blower motor, the air would no longer blow in their face coming up to the front fence. It always go up to the defrost mode, which means that someone didn't hook up the vacuum storage canister down there, that wrong ball, that was not hooked up, it was bypassed. That needs to be hooked up for you to have uh, proper heater control operation at all times. Under low vacuum, it stores vacuum there to help maintain proper control. So but what confused me was it has two lines coming out. It has a gray vacuum line down there and a black one. I didn't know why they had the gray one running out because the gray one seemed to control the gray ones connected to uh, the recirc vacuum door. So when you put on max AC, it'll uh, of course recirculate there inside the car. The black one is vacuum source for all the controls. But so then I found out and realized the gray one comes from when you turn on the max AC. It of course. Should, opens up to close the research door, so all the air is coming from the inside of the vehicle. But that gray line also goes over to the, there's an external heater valve, I guess you'd call it, on the heater hose. So what that does actually shuts off the flow of coolant in the heater core, only on max AC. So, hope that helps anybody out there who's trying to figure out why there's two gray vacuum lines, there's two vacuum lines on this vehicle and why on earth they're running the second one outside from the research door. And that's why 